What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Wasteland. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today for another episode of Sheltered where we are waiting out some rain. We really don't have a whole lot of other options right and it's black rain. Oh goody goody gumdrops, which means that our water, go ahead and drink now before it gets too far out of hand. The dirtiness gets up to like 10%. You can't drink water anymore. So this is the sort of water that is not really that helpful. You can see right there, the dirtiness is going up, unfortunately. We've got to wait for that to decontaminate. This is our first experience with black rain, and I had told you about it previously, but essentially it's just like nasty, fallout-saturated grossness falling from the sky. I wonder, can you use the shower, though, while black rain is in? That would be a question for the ages. This water is not going to be that useful, though. I'm hoping what will happen is occasionally you'll get very, very lucky. And what will occur is black rain will fall for a little while. When the black rain gets done, also, how is our radiation looking? Okay. So if this is up above like 10%, I really, really, really would not touch your water. I would just let it go for right now. In fact, let's let everyone use the toilet, though, because I don't think that'll make you irradiated. I think you should be able to poop into irradiated water and be okay, unless I fundamentally misunderstood most of my physics class. No, I never took a physics. The physics of pooping in irradiated water with splatter cat. It also looks like that's actually like a slow drizzle. That's not even like a really, really good amount. Did I ever upgrade that filter right there so that it would be more efficient? No, I didn't. I'm the worst. Okay, well, apparently... A eh, little bit disappointed with that. Our water is going to be really, really filthy for a while. And unfortunately, we just got to kind of wait for it to go away. Damn, that is really, really... It's going to take a while for that to be fixed. I know people could really use a shower, but unfortunately, I can't help most of you right now. It is a bad plan to get in that water. I have radiation medication. Actually, this would be kind of funny. Take a suit real fast. Oh, this is going to be the shit. This is gonna be the shit. All right, take a shower in the suit and see what happens. I'm gonna keep an eye on her. See how much radiation she can take. It's weird that it's cleaning her off right now, though. I'm just gonna add, it's a little bit weird. Hopefully she doesn't get radiation poisoning from this. That would totally suck. But we have so many people right now that, like, need a shower that I kind of feel like I should probably get on this. We've got Laura. Put on a suit, too. If this actually works, it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be my favorite thing that I have ever... It looks like you can actually shower in the water and not have to worry about radiation. So now that your shower is almost done, you can also go ahead and poop while we wait for her to get done. Everybody needs a shower right now, and we have so much water that we've just been, like, wasting this entire time. Waiting... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so get out of the shower. Get out of the shower. And take off your suit real fast. The black rain is not what I wanted to happen. It's definitely subpar. And unfortunately, what you end up in is you end up with like a weird little death spiral. Where what occurs is because your water got down so low before, you wait to use everybody's like drinking abilities and things like that. What ends up happening is that the second you get more rain, everybody shits and takes a shower at the same time and it drains your water out again. So unless you have like a torrential downpour, just like a biblical amount of rain you probably aren't going to bail yourself out of this situation very easily. Still, I can afford to give some of these guys a couple of gallons. I'll take her down to 45 to get that shower taken care of. She may not even need 45. We might be able to stop it a little bit early. I can't really use the water anyways until it decontaminates, so that's the other thing you got to think about. And so now that she's done with that, this little kid could use... Eh. Go ahead and eat some food real quick. Please tell me that you didn't just drink bad water. I gotta wait till that gets down to like 10% before we're gonna be able to use that at all. Usually I don't risk it much when it's over anything like 5 or 6%, so I might wait a little while longer. You're dying to go to the toilet? I don't understand why you can't just like drop a deuce outside real fast, but apparently it's so irradiated outside that you can't do anything. I don't know, gas masks don't help with that though. So like when you go out with a gas mask, I, I the full suit is the only thing that's gonna save you if it's lead line and you got all kinds of radioactive stuff going on. Oops, she's been showering for too long. That was my fault, but at least the shower is done and over with. We also need her to drop a deuce. Damn, we got problems right now. Doggy's hungry, so go ahead and fill the bowl. Shower's almost broke, so go ahead and fix the shower real quick. 
But yeah, that pretty much took us back down to where our... We, we only had a net gain of like 13 gallons right there. So we're still going to have to wait it out a little... Oh my god, and she's got to use the toilet too. Jesus. Alright, so we got problems. We have problems. One would assume that you could just make a sawdust toilet, which would be a lot easier than wasting water resources on it. Just throwing that out there is a potential solution. Fix that on up until it doesn't look quite so shitty anymore. Ugh, everybody's got to take a dump. Damn. How's the water purification? Okay, go ahead and drink water. You're all right. Go ahead and eat some food. After you get done with that, eat some food. And after you get done with the food, use the toilet and it'll all be okay. Maybe. Possibly. All right, and then we'll have you use the toilet. Dad's working on that. Then we'll have him drink water. But, yep, we barely broke even on that one. We're going to need another rainstorm pretty soon or we're just not going to be able to hold out she apparently needs yet another shower i think she did what didn't you already have one jesus we have problems right now we have very very real problems like basically everybody was backlogged on using the bathroom drinking and also showering because unfortunately we just haven't had any rain for like five days it's been really really ugly trying to get rain to fall and it's not necessarily worth it to go out to the reservoir. The last time I went out to the reservoir, we got, like, what? Four gallons from the reservoir? That doesn't even pay for the trip out there. And so the reservoir needs to be buffed pretty strongly at this point, I think. Just because a reservoir is like a big lake full of... Hey, there's rain! Alright, so we got lucky. That's what I was hoping would happen, is that we would have another short rainfall here before anything else goes wrong. And what we want to accomplish now... Anybody that needs to shower needs to shower, like, right this second. You go to bed for a little while. I know I only got people, like, halfway down on their meters. Showering is one of my favorite things to do in the entire world. Like, existing without showers would make me really, really, really sad. I'm going to try and get this dad out here, too. We should still be filling water okay, assuming, you know, not everybody has to use the toilet right this second. We may want to go in on another water butt, but unfortunately right now... We use, like, a lot of our plastics just keeping our gas masks in stock. So it's kind of like one of those unfortunate things where you never quite have a surplus of plastics like you hope you will. Which is a bit of a bummer. You go ahead and drink some water while it's raining, too. Just everybody get everything taken care of. She needs another shower? How does she need another shower already? My god. Alright, well, it must be because I'm not, like, filling up their meters all the way down. What is this right here? What does this mean? Oh, the bed's about to break. Okay, so we need to fix the bed in a little bit. Actually, fix it right there. That'll work out perfectly fine. Blow towards that thing. And now that your shower needs are looking good, I'm going to say to go eat some food. You stop standing in the way. You go take a shower, too. Water storage is at max capacity. So now would be the time where we wanted to send somebody out to go forage if we can. So let's take dad number one here. And I think that what I'll do is we'll take... We'll set up an expedition. We're going to take dad number two. And we're also going to take... I don't know, maybe somebody to take, like, just somebody to hold the loot, in all fairness. Like, we don't even need somebody there to... What does WC mean for toilet? I'm trying to think of what acronym, like, over here you got Z, you got Z, you know, for sleeping. You got, like, a droplet for that. What does WC mean? Want to crap, maybe? That's the only thing that I could think of. That's, <laughs> it doesn't seem to fit very well. Showering is one of my favorite things in the whole world, though. Showering is fantastic. It is an all-around enjoyable experience. So if I send them all the way over to here and just sort of like hit that and then allow them to come back, I wonder how much they'll get out of this whole thing. Because while that is a long trip, they would be hitting a lot of places. And so it might work out pretty well for us. Let's gamble on it. Let's gamble on it. I'm going to do it. We'll go gas mask. Okay, we will take... Firearm with deer bullets. I have noticed a lot more people with guns, by the way, which makes me a little bit nervous. I don't like that as a resolution for what we've been going through. I'm starting to see people with much better equipment. Puncher Rella, take that. 
Take yourself a gas mask. Just be sure that you come back with some plastics. Otherwise, give the child a gun. Yeah, children love guns. What's not to love about giving guns to children? Let's do this thing. Water storage is definitely not at maximum capacity. Our butt is not quite as wet as I would like it to be. They're out and into the wasteland, so we don't need to worry about it for a while. Let's go ahead and jump her up out of the shower so that everything remaining of this little rain on our particular plane turns out to be a tad more useful. I think that if this holds out to like 12 today, we should be alright. Water storage is definitely not at max capacity. I would love for it to be, but it is not. He's over here whimpering, but I think he should be okay. Is there anything else that needs to be fixed here? Our water filter is looking like it's going to go out on us pretty soon. Go ahead and throw on a suit real fast. Ah, we got somebody at the front door too. Let's go ahead and we're going to... Let's trade first because this could be all kinds of goodies that we want to have. And so we got a lot of motors, six ropes right there. So that's going to secure our food supply for a very, very long time. We got a circuit board right there, but I'd much rather take a stack of magnesium maybe. That'll be 94, and what we'll do is we'll just go, bam, we'll give you a gun, and then you can just, like, walk up out of here with a gun today. Who wants a gun? You get a gun, you get a gun, you get a gun! And then we'll accept that right there on that side. They're going to take a look at a house you put on the suit, and I would very much love it if you would go up there and fix one of our filters. I don't care if you get it done, like, all today or whatever, but... Oh, good, the rain did hold out long enough. I'm so happy to hear that. I am so incredibly happy to know that the rain held out long enough for this to be a good trip for us. So I'm just going to load everything up for right now. We're going to take everything we can get our hands on. Anything we can get our feet on too. If you're especially proficient at picking things up with your feet. Some people are. Some people aren't. Like I can pick stuff up with my feet all the time and I'm perfectly good at it. Some people however seem to struggle with that whole concept. We've probably got full water right now. I want you to go up and fix the water filter for me. We've also got another transmission coming in. we got more items ready to roll. I'm going to take the matches. I'm going to take the nylon, the switch, the magnesium, and I guess we can bring the screwdrivers and trade them if we come across anybody that wants them. Go ahead and open that one up so that she can repair our water filter for right now. Hungry on this side. I would assume Doggy's getting... He looks like he's doing like some kind of weird like floor hump thing when he breathes. Mm, mm, I love this crate. I also love the space in front of this crate. It is great. Let us take a shower real fast. We've got a shack out there, so that means they're still on their way out to Brookthorpe or whatever it is. Gonna need some sleep on this side, so return the suit and then jump on into bed. I give you permission. It's a pretty good shower right here. I wonder if the length of the rain that you get is determined by like how long it's been since your last rain. Oh look, her stress is going up. Interesting. You're in the shower right now. Why is your stress going up? Showering is like the best thing ever. I used to shower like three times a day until the drought hit. I like to be clean and I go to the gym. So I would shower before I go to college. When I got home, I go to the gym, and then when I got home from there, I take a shower. And depending, sometimes I double up. Like, sometimes I end up going to the gym twice in one day back in the day. And so if I went twice, I would shower a third time. But now there's a drought, so I try to cut that off. I maximize. I do one shower a day. Not seen many others recently. God, little girl with a shotgun. That's so awesome. And she's all dressed in white, too. She's like a little angel of murder. Not surprising, is it? Got any gear if you want to try? Oh, good. Okay. Badass. Looks like he's got some gear for us. I'll bring the food back for sure. I'll take all of that. I'll take the Valium and the motor. Whatever you want to give me, we can make this happen, Cap'n. I will give you all of these screwdrivers because I need zero of them. There's not a single screwdriver here that I have any use for in any sense of the word. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so... We're at 60 out of 70 right now. I could probably drop that back a little bit. What's he going to want to trade for? Is he trying to trade on margin or is he like trying to... Oh, he's trading one for one right now. So it would behoove us to get that as close as we can get it. I'll take the motor and if we can get this up to 70, that would be fantastic. That's not going to get us there. What about matches? That'll get us a little bit closer. And I don't want to give you a bullet. That's the last thing that I want to give you. I don't think any of these things are actually going to get us there. I may need to reduce my demands. Let's get rid of the Valium because it's not that useful anyways. 
And then what we can do is we can save these Scroogies for if we get lucky later. Don't even need to save the Scroogies. Just throw everything in there that's like passively valuable. And that's a close enough trade. That works. Thanks, pal. All this neat stuff is going to buy me a few or buy me out of a few sticky situations. Looks like her charisma went up, although I probably should have had Dad do that one. I don't know if I could barter with people pointing guns at me like that. I'd be like, this is a little bit nerve-wracking. She's coming back in, huh? All right, bring her back in. Go ahead and have her return her suit, accept another transmission. I'm hoping we get lucky right here. We just lost our rain, so that's okay. We're full up. It looks like the generator is beginning to spark. So I'm going to go ahead and have that fixed real quick. We've got another transmission coming in with some more items. Take as much food as we can carry, even though I know we're sort of full up right now. We've got hinges. Hinges are rare, so forget the teddy bear. I should have traded the teddy bear. I Everything else is looking non-stackable at the moment, and nothing else is really incredibly valuable either. I suppose I could bring the concrete back with me because it stacks anyways, and I could build another extension to my house. We don't really have a whole lot of room or supplies right now to do it. I need plastics, like really sincerely. I need plastics very, very badly. And unfortunately, the game has just not been generous about it. Alright, how much food do we have? I'm carrying 10 food with me right now, so that'll mean that we probably don't want to bring a whole lot more food with us. Are we almost out of fuel as well? Nah, fuel's good. Except the transmission, they found a church out in the wasteland. That's good because I sent you specifically to a church. So, you know, if you didn't see one, I'd be a little frustrated with you. Be a little bit flustered with your progress. Although I hate it because, like, I live in a... I was talking about showering earlier. I live in an apartment complex, and we got strangers out here. Yeah, we could see if we could trade. Who knows? We might find those one guys who just have, like, buku plastic sitting around. And if I don't take it, I'm going to regret it. Hey, you. Wait a second. You want to trade? Screw it. Take it for all I care. See what good it'll do you. Okay, well, you seem to be a fun individual. I'll take some metal right there. And the Valium's worth 20. Let me see if I can get a good deal out of this. Give you some concrete if you want so that I can take that stuff right there because, eh. I mean, we're pretty much full up on food to begin with, so I don't really want to bring any of it along with me. Enjoy carrying a massive sack of cement back to your base, by the way. Even after the world has gone down the drain, there's still people managing to screw others over. Thanks for the trade, if you could call it that. You agreed to it, man. This isn't like a hostile negotiation. We both have guns trained at each other. Either one of us could just like walk away at any moment and we'd probably be fine. Got some pipes right there. Pipes are always useful. So I will probably drop that switch. Probably drop the matches because there are things in here I want to bring back. We can stack that so that's fine. We've got circuit boards. I'll probably drop the fuel for the circuit boards. Anything that like builds or makes our base better is what we really want to bring back fistful of right now. We Did we use up food right there? Either way, bring food back with you. Why not get stacks of it and we'll trade with people if we see them along the way. Turn this into a big old caravan of us just screwing people. Since that's what people are going to say I'm going to do either way. I think that I'm giving them good deals. But people out here, man, people out here are real kind of on edge. They need to calm down. They need to get a little... They got Valium in their pocket too. They could just solve this problem right now and just be like, I'm so high right now. It'd be the greatest... Examine some more. I oh, hello. Would you like to come with me? I don't want you magnesium. I used to mess with people. I made up a new periodic table when I was in chemistry, and MG stood for magnets, and then sodium was nails. I was I I made like an entire one out there where it was just like solid objects that then replaced whatever they represented on the periodic table. So transistor, you go away. Motor, I've got like plenty of you. I think circuit boards, I don't have a lot of those. Wires, I actually do have a lot of. Hinges, I have several of. The fuel would be nice, and the anti-radiation tablets are, like, absurdly valuable, so bringing those along tends to be a pretty good choice. We needed fuses so that we could start upgrading Tier 2 stuff, so I may bring that as well. We've got plenty of space in base, and so I'm not going to mess with that. The first aid kit would be nice, but we already have one, and we already have, like, all the things that we need. Now, the anti-radiation tablets are a big deal because those are a replacement for gas masks. So if you don't have a gas mask, you just need tablets. And now that we have tablets, that means that we spent two gas masks, but we got three out, essentially. And so that's a really good call for us. I'm hoping we can continue to find... I need plastics, though, very, very badly. I would like to find somebody that has a whole bunch of plastics so that I can trade them as much food as I can. 
Let's feed the dog while we're here because we got like 13 food on us. I'm going to take it a little slow. But if they end up coming back, we've got a small house. Yeah, I go ahead and take a look at a small house. See what we can find in there. That's really letting a little girl use a blowtorch seems just like kind of a risky proposition. I don't know if I would trust a child with a blowtorch. Got some items over here. More food. More fuel as well. Do I have ropes stacked up? Because we could definitely use those. So, if we've got room for it, I would love to bring the ropes back with me. Like, if we could say to the universe, just like, show me the ropes. And they were like, yeah, for sure. That would be great. So, I've got plenty of batteries. What I don't have are a lot of ropes. And, to add insult to injury right there, we have to use ropes on a lot of stuff. We should be able to hit tier 3 right now and still have like 5 ropes left over. Which is really quite satisfactory. I think we're good right there. This has been a good trip for us. This has been a really, really good trip for us. I think the Valium could be a little bit expendable if we really... Is that a circuit? Oh, those stack. Okay, so let's bring back more circuit boards. I think there are still things that I'd like to trade away before we go back home, like this entire stack of food. But, meh. I mean, I like what we got going on right now. How much plastic do I have? I'm, I'm Yeah, we'll be able to do that. Okay, so we got extra hinges. We'll be out of hinges and we'll be almost out of pipes, but it'll be okay. Accept that transmission. Search whatever location you want to search. What I'm going to try and do for right now... Wow, you've been sleeping this entire time? Well, hell, Laura, you jump up out of bed right there. Let her have a turn. And then let her have a turn over here. It looks like she got herself a little bit of XP for intelligence. We've got strangers on this side. I am really... I'm crossing my fingers, my toes, and every other part of my body. Crossing my fingers, my toes, and my wings in the hope that maybe we'll get something out of here. Hey there, it's good to see somebody. I want a different character. How do I get a different character? It says left shoulder button. Like, they really need to change this so that on the PC... Like, that's really... I hate that when the developers do that. It's one of those, like, little lazy things where they don't make the extra UI for the PC or it's, like, apparent the PC was an afterthought. It annoys me as a PC gamer, especially since I have no idea what key I'm supposed to push right now in order to change this character. Let me hit some stuff real fast. Hit the things that it frequently is, like the brackets and the daggers and everything else. Party members, one, two, three, four. I can only assume, then, that it's on some weird key. I don't know. I tried just about everything on my keyboard real fast. I just mashed through it. It wouldn't let me change characters. You'd think you could just, like, click. I don't want her to get charisma, though, because she doesn't go out very often. I want him to get charisma. Ah, uh, well. You want to trade? Hit it, asshole. Fish lop like you going to get us both killed. I'm a fish lop? What's a fish lop? I never heard that word before. Is that, like, an insult that people use? I don't know what country we're in right now, though, either. So they could be using the slang from like any country at the moment and I would have no idea got circuit breakers on that side of which we have six little bit more cement oh we needed one more cement to build another chunk of building huh that sucks okay what we could also do is we could consider let me take a look at where they're at on the map right now so are they on their way back? It looks like they might be on their way back very, very soon. So what I could do is we could make another food pantry, and that would be super swell. So go ahead and do that so that we can stock up for the future. That'll also give us a little bit more leeway when it comes to adopting new characters. Small petrol station, go ahead. Hopefully he can get that built before they get home. That'd be totally great. I'm going to move it around a little bit in case you're worried about it. I am going to, like, shift it around. I'm just putting it right there because I wanted to get it built as fast as possible. But if we get that done, it might not be a bad idea to bring back a little bit more food. Oh, rubber is also a temptation. Rubber never comes around. I got plenty of wiring. I see wiring pretty frequently. Man, I wish I could carry more loot, too. Getting up to Tier 3 and building some bigger backpacks is really going to assist us on these scavenging missions. The wool. It's weird how frequently I go through wool, too, all things considered. I almost never see it around. In your head, you start to create, like, this little list of, like, things that you need and things that don't show up very often. You start to become familiar with the game so that, like, you know you never get this, but you always get this. Like, finding pipes... Things like that, very easy to find, but at the same time, finding things like, you know, random wires and nails tends to be a little bit more difficult. I can't wait for them to get back home because we're going to go up to the Tier 3 on this right here. Once we got the Tier 3 right here, 
I don't know if the rest of the tools are actually in the game. We also found, like, nothing. We found people. Yeah, get involved. That's fine. We got loads and loads of guns. So I'm not that terrified of combat right now. Although getting my child shot does not appear to be one of those things that a good parent would try to... Don't you walk on by. Whoa, easy there. You know, it's been a long time since I cut on something. I don't know if I should fight. She's got a katana. I'm pretty sure that's a katana. Should I shoot her? I do have a lot of guns. Let's fight. Ooh, I blocked her sword with my gun, apparently, because I'm that awesome. Go ahead and kill. Or wait, shoot. Oh, you missed both times? Oh, dead. Good night! Wow, she had all kinds of loot. Look at you being out here and all proactive. I mean, none of it is things that I want. You're now dead. I murdered her for her teddy bear. Her name was Lisa, huh? Sucks to be her. Lisa need to calm her shit down. Came at me with a katana, like... What? I got guns. What do you think you are? You in some kind of, like, samurai western right now? What, you gonna block the bullets with your sword? <laughs> Good luck with that noise. We're out of time right now, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break the episode off right here. We'll break it off once they get back. I think you guys need closure. I feel bad when I leave you guys with cliffhangers. I really do. Although, I will say that it is really, really good for business for me to leave you with cliffhangers. Uh, you know, it just depends how cynically you're looking at the situation. Oh, we got rain on the surface? Okay. We'll then take a shower. And then, sleepy people, go ahead and use their toilets and all the other stuff that you want to do right now. So that we can get people cleaned up. Actually, everybody's looking really solid at the moment. I don't think we have to worry about it. They should be home in just a minute. That bunny just running around and around like, Yay! I love rain of all the things that I enjoy. I actually, I love the sound that rain makes when it falls on a corrugated roof. Because we had a thing in our backyard when I was a kid where it was like a corrugated overhang type deal. So that you could sit out on lawn chairs. And for some reason it's relaxing to me. Normally that kind of shit annoys me. Because I'm a little bit OCD about like rhythmic noises and like tapping and like clocks for example. I really, really, really sincerely hate the sound of clocks ticking. It drives me nuts. Ooh, do I want to trade with you? Yes, I would like to trade with you. What do you have? Ooh, you got fuses? Yeah, I could use... You got lighters? Really? Never seen those so far. I'm going to take just about everything you have, and then I'm just not even going to worry about it. How about this? Would you like a rifle? Eh. Seems like overkill. That's pretty overkilly too. I should have brought the pistol back. What does this guy want? Hmm, I got Valium. You want some Valium? I just brought back like a ton of Valium, so I really see no point in like hoarding it. I want some Valium, and what do I have that can even... I got Magnesium, dude. Magnesium's always worth stuff. There we go. Give me some Magnesium and some Valium. That'll make you feel better. They're going to climb back down and in. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we need to get done right now as far as showers and things are concerned. Open it. I was waiting for this guy to piss off because I didn't want him to run inside the door when I opened it. We got guns, like, right behind him, so it's not that big of a deal. That was a really, really good trip for our party, by the way. Like, that was solid. We brought back a lot of food. We also brought back a ton of nails. We used up a lot of ammo, though, unfortunately. It looks like it took us a couple of shots to bring that lady down from each gun. And so now we got, like, fuses. We got all kinds of good things going on. Life is good right now. Life is good. I think that our chances of surviving have gone up pretty considerably. I will see you all in the next episode. Hi-do, everybody.